A Russian fighter jet and a US drone colliding in midair is the kind of contact NATO has been desperate to avoid since the war in Ukraine began. The Su-27 Russian plane hit the Reaper drone's propeller, bringing it down, according to the US European Command. This incident demonstrates a lack of competence in addition to being unsafe and unprofessional. Russia, where President Putin was recently filmed in a flight simulator, denying its plane hit the drone or that its pilot showed what the US called complete ineptitude. It happened at 7 a.m. in the crowded airspace over the Black Sea, just miles from the war in Ukraine, but crucially, Washington says, in international airspace. Russian jets dumped fuel on the Reaper, according to the US, before colliding with it and sending the $32 million drone crashing into the sea. The State Department quickly summoning Russia's ambassador with a blunt condemnation. If the message is uh, that they want to deter or dissuade us from flying and operating in international airspace over the Black Sea, then that message will fail. The Russian ambassador accusing the US of threatening its territory. This uh, drone can carry 1,700 kilos of explosives. But it's far from the first incident between the two countries. There are multiple alleged examples, sometimes recorded in dramatic video of what American officials say are cases of Russian jets harassing the US military. In 2020, a Russian jet crossed within 100 feet of the nose of a US B-52 over the Black Sea. While in 2021, a Russian Su-24 buzzed an American missile destroyer, the USS Donald Cook in the Black Sea. It's not clear whether this latest confrontation was intentional or accidental. Kier, obviously, the danger here is that something could escalate after something like this. So how much more risk, how tense are things right now in this region? They are tense, and there is that risk, Savannah, because it's pretty uh, murky exactly what happened. Uh, what was the drone doing? The U.S. has said only that it was on routine operations. Were the Russians trying to incapacitate it by pouring fuel on it, which would be stunningly dangerous? And where is the drone now? This morning there are fears that the Russians will get to it first. The U.S. saying any sensitive data has been deleted. You know, Savannah, it all pulls back the curtain on the reality that the Russian and U.S. military are eyeball to eyeball in this conflict. Now, and to answer your question, there is that risk that if, a, if there was a mistake, it would lead to a serious escalation. Savannah. Mm. All right, Kara, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com/slash all day or click the link right here.